All right, we're ready to get started. Um, so my name is Alvis, and uh, that's Ricardo uh, with, with, with Expo, and we're going to do a quick presentation. Well, we'll probably take an hour. Um, presentation on EDS in Koha and the integration work that we've done. All right, and for our agenda, uh, essentially, we just give you an overview of uh, why we made, why did why we did the integration project, um, some of the features and functionalities that we built in the integration, uh, the admin features and functionalities, and what the plan is for this plugin going forward. Um, so just in terms of a uh, quick introduction, we, uh, we essentially um, have a team called Global Software Services that um, that have local discovery service engineers work with customers all over the world. So essentially, we have discovery service engineers now in pretty much every continent except Antarctica. Uh, and we work with local customers to pretty much do development, customization, and integration of the Um, so why did we do the integration? Well, essentially, um, there is a, there is an organization called Miva in New Zealand, and it's interesting that. Uh, Koha made its start in New Zealand and the plugin in, in, in this case support a New Zealand based organization called uh, Miva. Um, they, they implemented Koha uh, in uh, 2012 and they had a requirement where they didn't want to do a lot of change they wanted to access discovery as well. And so one of the requirements was that um, they actually Uh, that EDS key delivered through, uh, through the point phase. So you want to so the end result was um, we, we we took Neva's local uh, the catalog. We used EDS's content and the search engine, and we turned uh, Koha into uh, Neva's front end discovery. Yes, so um, I guess before we go ahead, a uh, quick question is, what is a discovery service? Um, okay. So, Okay, cool. Um, so essentially what is our service is, is it's a fast, simple way to access all of the library's full text content, um, electronic and print, uh, in a single search box. And so 
that essentially includes journals, conference proceedings, magazines, newspapers, books, um, the local catalog itself, institutional repositories, um, and the list goes on. Um, discovery is something that that's really that really started a couple of years ago. It's a trend that's picking up, and so essentially, not all discovery services are equal. Um, so here's an example where um, this is this is the metadata quality from one of the other discovery services that uses cross-share. Essentially, what that means is uh, with, with the uh, with the discovery service, you get rich metadata sources and inclusion of subject indexes, um, relative and currency, etc. Um, and the combined result of this is high quality search experience. So when I started with EBSCO about two years ago, um, I thought you know, I'm talking uh, Marshall Breeding, he sort of um, said that. EBSCO stands as a forefront for the long year. I thought it was a So hopefully that offers a into what a discovery service for users to go in and search anything and everything. 
está por el tipo de a lo mejor en torno a la posición, pero lo que se está quitando es el primero que hablaba anteriormente, una sola caja de útero con tres Entonces, en este caso, he hecho un search por both, y so he's given me some search results on the top. Um, you can see um, the criteria uh, appearing on the left hand side, and as you continue, you have options to limit the specific search results, um, and you can, you can see the results appearing in the center. <laughs> Remember the way the screen looks because you will see a lot of similarities between this and what we've managed to integrate in four. So this is a when when I scroll down I can see there's a packet on that side. Um, so it's a little more of the filtering features in terms of subject. Publisher, content provider, etc. And this is how the video with the high quality metadata. Um, on the left hand side, you'll get the links to full text. And on the right hand side, you'll get the way. The tools that are available to the end users. That is in Koha. Now, most of my examples are going to be based on the implementation that we did for Niva. And this is um, a screenshot of how they've implemented our organization. And you can see in the drop down there is, there is the term uh, discovery. And so we've managed to integrate um, discovery searching within the interface without uh, major, major disruptions. You see a list of field codes in the drop down as well. Um, these field codes are ones that, uh, that uh, appear from on the discovery uh, API. And the user still has the option of switching back to the library catalog and continue to use uh, the field codes from Koha itself. And another example. Where um, this is something really done by the catalyst team, where the uh, requirements from the user so was in water, and so what they did was they created a catalyst.
just a quick check. Um, I keep moving my face away from the microphone, so I'll back on to now. So going back to discovery again, um, So if I sort of look at the drop down, every time I switch to green, the light is up, and the target is switching to this, um, this will fall. And what you see in the uh, video bar right now. Um, so you can see the printing options on the left um, with the full text, reference journals, uh, catalog only, and you can see the search results on the right with access to full text and, and, and catalog results. So one of the interesting features of this uh, of this plugin or this integration is that results in the catalog and EDS uh, resources are integrated. Which means you get good, good, um, a, a good search engine for your local catalog as well. And one of the ways you can distinguish between a catalog result and, um, and a EDS is the availability field. Uh, which in this case says copies available for loan uh, Neva Bibliothek. And the integration is so seamless that um, you can continue to use the patron functionality like place reserves, add to cart, etc. Um, through, uh, through the integration. So I'll just scroll down a little more and you can see the list of facets that I that it's sort of mentioned in, uh, in the native interface with the subject, publisher, publication, etc. Um, along with the accounts for the various facets. And so here's a couple more uh, in terms of language, uh, geography, and content provider. And to prove that the functionality actually works, I'll click on Science Direct, um, and that'll actually take me to um, <laughs> Um, yep, uh, that's the science direct um, search results. And you can see the result as well in the link. It's got view this record from science direct, um, and that's a custom link that's been set up in, in discovery uh, for, for the integration. And if the user wants to request an item directly from the library, they can click the next uh, link next to it, which is request this item from the library. And um, one of the things I want to mention is the available and library collection limiter, which limits search results to only the collection and items that are 
available in the library. Um, if you make it, if you disable it, it just means you will be searching pretty much all the content um, that's available in Discovery. And you can control the way um, the kind of search results appear using an ATZ uh, system. In this case, Google is using uh, the EBSCO A to Z, but you can use anyone and, and uh, EDS integrates with that. Um, one thing that we also offer is guest access. So in this case, we've enabled guest access. Meaning, there are certain publications. Um, you know, due to due to our agreements, we can't away, uh, make available public. And there's two ways of gaining access. One is through IP, um, and if you're if you're within a registered IP range, then you pretty much get access to your results immediately. But if um, the other the other option is using a password, and um, the plugins actually uh, integrates with the with the local um, account man account management within Core itself to allow users access to that record. So I've logged in and I can pretty much see all the results. Um, a few more features. Um, results per page, as you'd expect um, in, in Koha. Um, again, the view in terms of the, the, the amount of metadata that needs to appear in search results, title, brief, detail. Um, the various search modes, so EDS um, offers four different searching mechanisms. Uh, you can use Boolean phrase, uh, find all my search terms find any of my search terms or smart text searching. And uh, and soft functionality that offers uh, relevance, author, date oldest, uh, and date new. We've actually done uh, integration with the cart as well. It was not our intention initially, but um, again, we uh, the developers are not librarians, so we spoke to the folks at Niva, and they found that that functionality was was required, and so we integrated uh, the plugin. To, uh, to the Koha card functionality as well. So in this case, what I've done is I've added um, an ES item into a card and the local catalog item into a card, and you can see the card um, icon on the top. Of I can on the top, um, this item has been added to your phone. Um, you can also use the checkboxes. So that was uh, some additional integration we did 
to ensure um, the seamless nature of, of usability. Um, and so when you click on the card icon, you then get an integrated view. So you can see the first two results are the local catalog, and you can see the next three are, are from the are from this catalog. And you can pretty much interact with some of the functionality such as more, more details, uh, print, remove, um, and add uh, all fair or etc. A little bit on the full text, um, depending on what's set up in, uh, in EDS, you can either link to a link resolver, in this case link source. Alternatively, depending on how uh, the full text is available, you can either access it via a URL or the actual PDF full text if, if it's available or the HTML full text. So in this case, I've clicked on on the yeah, which goes into the detail record uh, notes um, and then this will be so this is the detailed record of the, uh, and this is what we, uh, this is the metadata that's come out from discovery. Um, it is pretty thin, but you can see the other features here. This is And the integrations continue to um, traverse through the records in terms of previous next and back to results. So uh, you can click on next to see what's the next uh, record in the results. Uh, and the other thing is, um, in this case, when I click next, it actually took me into a uh, catalog result, and so we will be familiar with the way this looks. Um, and so there's no, there's nothing that EDS uh, or the plugin takes away uh, when it comes to accessing the catalog. One of the things it does add is uh, is a browse result option, which is uh, available in native Koha logic that so behaves a little bit. It gives you the results. Um, so you can have a look and click on it to go to the record if you want to. I think I'm not sure the browse. If you want to see more results, click on view more results. Uh, it then goes and fetches the next uh, next result list, which is uh, from uh, 21 to 30. Yeah, Just one um, other integration that's happened is the advanced search functionality that's been brought into uh, the Koha integration as well. Um, it wasn't uh, available in the first release, but uh, we then added it on because we got feedback from a lot of the users. And
And so um, you notice this is how it looks in the EDS native version. Um, and the similarities, and there are a little a lot of similarities and we try to make sure all the features and functionalities are available within So one of the things we uh, that that's been an enhancement is, is you can actually toggle between the catalog uh, advanced search and the ADS uh, advanced search. So if you click on advanced search right now it will refresh to uh, to the catalog advanced search. So that's a screenshot of, um, of the catalog uh, with one search. And in that screen, if you actually mouse over with one search, it will say switch to Discovery. And so you have to move so we just continue to operate in um, in in this integrated version. So this is an example of what I'm me, but um, I've done search for boat or ship and water, not air. And so it passes the search parameters and we've done search results. And you can see those parameters in some website. And if I click on water, it actually removes it from the list. So my next search result will be uh, without water. And so that updates the search result. So that's at the high level uh, on features and functionality uh, through the EDS application. So you get the uh, additional features. We need to have plugins enabled in uh, in in Koha, which means uh, support is available only from 3.12 onwards. Uh, and In this case, what you can do is just click on upload a plugin. Choose the plugin file and click upload. And so that then gives you this view. Uh, with run to uh, config. You're in an install, and in this case, the first thing I'd recommend is let you. Uh, we give the administrators server
And so, if you get uh, if you if you get an optimal that looks the way it does, and it is in flow in the field the way it does, it means the integration is working, and you now have um, EDS integrated into into flow. You also get access to so admin, and so a lot of the features and functionalities that I demonstrated is configurable to to admin in the back end. So in the case of the access by the we should have I'm also able to identify which limiters to enable and disable uh, to a admin as so, a lot of the settings that you that you saw in the front end is configurable. Um, you also have the option of specifying which database resources to enable and disable. So if you have a one of the catalog, you can enable the catalog and enable some other resources that you subscribe to. Uh, such as academic search and uh, etc. I think the point they feel about the point that So what's the feature for the plugin? Well, the next step is to make sure it starts working with um, version 3.16 and 3.18. The aim is to get 3.16 ready by ready for that as well. 3.18. And uh, we continue to enhance the features because um, EDS continues to get improved. So one of the new features that's been implemented in Discovery is the research starters, and we try to move research starters into the API as well. Uh, Um, essentially, what they do is 50,000 uh, research science provided by Sailing Press, PhDs, and it's like inside Wikipedia. Um, it's, it's like Wikipedia, but uh, it just, it's, uh, it's content that's been vetted or um, has been peer reviewed. So one of the other features that we're working on integrating into uh, EDS uh, into, into the cohort plugin is um, such a specific searching within journals itself. And if you do a search for nature in this case, which is actually a publication, uh, journal and database name searches will uh, give end users what they want about the result. Mm -hmm. One of the features that's being added Added in the next module is select multiple facets. So currently, um, it's supposed to select one facet, but we'll be able to select multiple facets uh, hopefully by the end of the month. Okay. Uh, 
And one of the other features we want to do is make updating the plugin easy because um, we we've managed to I think um, have separate release cycles between the Koha versions and the plugin versions. Um, or the EDS API mainly because of the plugin technology that's been added in. Yeah. So, um, the, we managed to go with two streams. One is the EDS release and the, uh, the other is the Koha release. <laughs> And that's because of the plugin functionality in Core. So there is a possibility of making features a lot faster if, if there is uh, if, if they are high in demand. Which means um, update is another requirement uh, within Koha, so we're trying to uh, improve the way updates happen, uh, possibly um, make updates happen automatically if, um, if if that is an option. So we're doing some research in that area. And we're giving um, the option of modifying the default features. So it's not only limited to the default functionality that's available in to admin. For example, uh, if I want to set a default language um, that's not available in Expo Admin and it's not available in Koha, so we're, but we're trying to enable that in Koha. So how do you get started? Um, go to Google and search for EDS Core. And you should get a search result that says uh, EBSCO uh, EDS Core plugin dash GitHub. Um, you will get a better search result if you type in EDS API space Core, but uh, EDS Core is just easier to remember. So when you go there, you, you get this uh, page. And essentially, you can download the latest version of plugins, plugin instructions, and, and get the plugin uh, available for you to use in Koha. And so there are resources that we can make available to you in terms of uh, EDS Wiki, integration kit, um, training and help as well. If you want to um, do some development around that, like that. but I would like you to um, tell us what you would like to see in that plugin, and we can explore doing some development in that area. We have a couple of other features and functionality that are sort of in the pipeline, but I think uh, that, that's pretty much enough to say. Uh, thank you. Any questions? I'm guessing everyone's hungry. Hey,
Hay una cuestión que voy a agregar aquí, yo, de mi potencia, que es la misma que el trabajador número de la Entonces, pues, si bien entiendo que cada biblioteca tiene una forma independiente de trabajar con el por, pero pues, por ahí pueden empezar a hacer sus pruebas. Y obviamente, en la parte de la configuración, pues, estamos para apoyarlo, para decir que clave, pues, para enseñar. So, so you can do proxy. Um, you can set up the proxy links in. So the question is around: um, Can we set up proxies for uh, for the EDS integration? Uh, the answer is yes. You can set up the proxies in EBSCO admin. Uh, and so when you see the custom links appear in the API, they are proxy encoded. Plus, uh, if you have IP enabled, then that will work automatically in English. Okay, a desarrollar ustedes mismos, la uno de los componentes de acá y otro también, así que no se puede entregar. Muchas gracias por su atención. Sí.